Hervé Jean-Pierre Vidiachez, the diminutive actor and artist who found fame as Tattoo on the 1970s television show Fantasy Island. Every episode began with Tattoo announcing the arrival of guests to the island by shouting, The plan! The plan! Villachez, who stood 3 feet 11 inches, was born April 23, 1943, in Paris, France. Due to an acute thyroid condition, he developed dwarfism. Though small in stature, he was an immensely talented painter, studying at the École de Beaux-Arts in Paris and holding exhibitions in renowned Paris museums by the age of 16. At 21, Villachez moved to New York City, where he taught himself English by watching American television, leading to his decision to become an actor. He soon started landing small supporting roles in TV and film, but got his big break in 1974, when he landed the role of a tiny villain named Knickknack in the 1974 James Bond film, Monsieur, The Man with the Golden Gun. I will remind you, this is a duel à la mort. Only one of you can leave the field of honor. If a good address is necessary, as your referee, I will administer it myself. Villachez then moved to California, where Aaron Spelling cast him opposite Ricardo Montalban on Fantasy Island. She built a new empire entirely on her own, through hard work, dedication, but she has paid the price in her personal life. What price, boss? Loneliness and emptiness of the heart. During the That's show's six-season run, Villachez was so popular, he earned $25,000 per episode. In 1983, due to his heavy drinking and frequent quarrels with the show's producers, Villachez walked away from the show that made him famous. Despite his popularity, he was unable to find other work, leading to even heavier drinking. By 1986, Villachez's $3.6 million fortune was reduced to crumbs. At the same time, Villachez was dealing with chronic pain caused by his internal organs, which had continued to grow throughout his life, becoming too large for his body. As the pain increased, Villachez became more despondent. On September 3, 1993, Hervé Villachez died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. He was 50 years old. He was cremated and his ashes were spread at sea. <laughs>